Let's use AI in Adobe Premiere Pro to change the duration of a music clip and match it with the length of a video. I've downloaded these three clips from Envato Elements. You can find the links in the description. I opened them in Premiere Pro and dropped them on the timeline. And you can see here that the duration of the whole thing is around 16 seconds. I also downloaded this music clip from the link in the description. So let's drop it on the timeline as well. But here's the problem. The audio is much longer than the video. And you, you, you never want a mismatch between your audio and video. So how to fix this issue? Well, you can always use the razor tool and manually cut the track and delete parts of it while making sure you follow the beat. But that's too much work. And what if the audio is shorter than the video? That's even more work. There's another way. In the toolbar, if you click and hold the ripple edit tool group, you can then choose the remix tool. Then drag the right edge of the audio clip and match it with the length of the video. And when you do that, Premiere Pro will process the clip and then match the duration. In this example, it matched it to the same exact duration. But sometimes it's either a little bit longer or shorter depending on the tempo and composition of the music. But it should always be within 5 seconds of the target duration. Now, do you see this zigzag line on the audio clip? This one here. That means the Remix tool has edited this part of the audio to make it shorter. So let's play it. Nice, it's seamless and great. And if you open Essential Sound by going to Window, Essential Sound, make sure the audio clip is selected, you'll get additional settings that you can change. So the method should be set to Remix, and here you can change the target duration of the audio clip, plus or minus 5 seconds, and you can open this customized area and adjust the segments slider to control the number of cuts and crossfades, and adjust the variations slider to focus on either the melodic elements of the music, if the track has solo instruments, or the harmonic elements if it's a more orchestral piece. Keep in mind that the remix tool only remixes the middle of the clip without touching the beginning and end. Also, this tool doesn't work well with music that has vocals, so try to avoid that as well. That's it, bye-bye!